So what's coming up this month on my YouTube channel? How about testing on turbos, cams, nitrous, exhaust, and headers, but number one on that list? Compound turbo system. In this video, I want to thank you guys for tuning into the channel and let you know what videos and testing we have coming up for the month of December 2019, starting with the compound turbo system. That's right, I got the compound turbo system up and running on the little 4.8 liter. Both turbos up, making boost, and it turned out great. My original plan was to run seven or eight pounds, but it was already on the dyno. The turbos were working, and more importantly, both wastegate controllers were working. So here's a little spoiler alert. I turned the boost up over 20 pounds. So you get that video coming up next. Looking for even more turbo testing? How about using nitrous as the intercooler. I mean, what better way to cool the heated charge air coming out of the turbo than with a compound that comes out at negative 129 degrees? After hearing that, you should be asking yourself, why use nitrous as the intercooler when you can run nitrous with an intercooler? Don't worry, I got that test and video also coming up. I'm sure you guys can't get enough turbo testing, so how about a turbo exhaust test? The exhaust after the turbo. I compared a 3 inch versus 3.5 versus 4 inch. I'll show you the power, the change in boost, and the change in back pressure. Okay guys, enough turbo testing. What about the NA guys? Especially the little 4.8 guys. I got a perfect test for you. How about a heads, cam, and intake upgrade on an LR4 4.8 liter where we picked up 130 horsepower? That's right, giving that 4.8 some love. And just to be fair, I ran the same test on a 5.3 liter. I've got some more NA testing. How about stock exhaust manifolds versus shorty headers versus long tubes? Whenever I run that test, I get a ton of comments. Don't the stock exhaust manifolds or shorty headers make more torque than a long tube header? Well, I ran that test not just on a stock motor, but on a modified one. Because whenever I run the test on one motor, I get a ton of comments. Hey, it would be different if we ran it on this other motor. So you know what? I ran both. To bridge the gap between NA and turbo testing, on this particular test, I did both. I compared a set of 706 heads to a set of 317 heads, both naturally aspirated and turbocharged. Back in the day, and probably still now, 317 heads were a big upgrade for the 706. Lots of guys put them on, especially for turbo combos. It offered more flow and dropped the compression. Both things you want in a turbo motor, right? Now I can keep going with this list because I've done a lot of testing. But I want to finish up here with something I'm really excited about, and I'm calling it pump gas tune. Whenever we run a turbo motor on pump gas, we're forced to retard the timing from the timing we would run with E85 or race gas. So I wanted to demonstrate how much power you lose having to retard that timing. So I ran a test running 20 degrees, which is something you might run on E85 or race gas, all the way down to 12 degrees, which is something you might run on pump gas. So how much power did we lose? We're gonna find out. Okay guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. I mean, it's easy, just takes a click. But most importantly, I want you to comment, because those comments help tell me what I should test.